Hello friends, how are you all doing? Sylvie here. Today I'm celebrating 25 years of pipe smoking. I'm not actually celebrating anything, but I don't have a better word for it. Uh, I will use my first ever pipe that I bought and this tobacco that I pre-opened a few minutes ago trying to make a good video for you guys, but it didn't work well. So, this is the actual pipe that I ever bought. A Stanwell 88 shape army mount. I'll put pictures with it. It has a nine millimeter filter, but now I have inserted one of those balsa pieces that Mr. Yanes, my dear friend, gave to me. As you well know, balsa system is not actually filtering anything. Its only purpose is to protect the pipe. It is absorbing the extra moisture that remains in your pipe after smoking. Okay, so let's say I'm opening the Tin now. Damn, this is exactly how it sounded. Okay. I'm doing this again. I see they had pipes made for them in England. And these are some other tobaccos. Leather, goods, pipes, and they used to make candlelight blend, sound downer mixture, blend tire, mild blend mixture number 242, mixture number 37, 357. This is a tobacco. I'll show you pictures of it. It smells exactly, but exactly like one of my favorite tobaccos ever that I didn't try for smoke for maybe four years. Rat Trace number seven reserve. It's an English slash Scottish blend. It's an English blend with Cavendish. This is very similar. It smells of Fermented Virginia, Scavendish, and a little bit of Latakia. Doesn't have a very strong Latakia smell. But it smells lovely. Okay. And I'm extremely happy because it is not dry. So it kept its moisture very well. That is one of my worst nightmares dry tobacco okay for the beginners again just put tobacco in any way you can just put tobacco in press it try it when it has a little bit of resistance, you are okay. You are okay to start. As you probably know by now, if you open a tin of aged tobacco, you have to smoke it. Don't keep it for more aging. It makes no sense. It's already aged. 
So 25 years ago, on 19th of January, when the birthday of my best friend was, I went to a tobacco store to buy a few cigars, a few Romeo and Giulietta, a few Partagas, and two Hoyo de Monterey. That these are still my favorite cigars. But I saw there a beautiful wall of pipes. And I asked the nice lady there, what are those contraptions for, dear lady? Come on, lady. And she told me that there are pipes. And I said, and what are you doing with, with those? And she showed me some beautiful things of tobacco and I was mesmerized. The first tobacco I ever bought was Vio Larsen Signature. The second one was Vio Larsen 1848 or something like that. Actually, last year I smoked a Vio Larsen Signature, but I gave the entire thing away. I was, that is it's a stupid move from my part. I forgot that I will have another birthday and another celebration at birthday each year. Yeah, so this is how I bought my first pipe that I'm using right now. See, I'm not using my temper. Don't start using your temper immediately. You better use your lighter more often than using your temper. Now, Here we go. I was talking to my buddy, JC, yesterday that I'm trying to give Cobbs another chance. But I don't know why we, we don't have those bigger ones here in Europe. That is pretty sad. I looked in Romania through all the stores and you cannot even find this anymore. But I'm glad I have this. Yesterday I had to make that concoction that I invented to fill the gap that is underneath the stem that I did to my country gentleman that I got in a trade. I put some flour, some um, corn flour, a little bit of ash just for the color, water, and then I fill, fill that gap that they all have inside, whatever. And I'm trying to give them a second chance. What I discovered, because this pipe I also got in the trade uh, with Savinelli pipes. I never knew that you can buy corn cups without that horrible big open draw. Look, I never knew about this. So these are unfiltered ones. I had no idea they exist. So I will ever, I will make a trade with somebody from Europe a pipe for a, one of those corn cobs that, that are either bigger or uh, one of those free hands, whatever, we will see about that. But I'm willing to give them a second chance. Now about this tobacco. It is quite similar to one of my Oh, long time favorite English slash Scottish tobaccos. Red Race number seven reserve. 
it is actually incredibly similar to that so it's quite nice like all aged tobaccos that i smoked they have in the beginning a powerful sweetness that goes away after a few minutes of smoking then all it is all you are left with is a very mild english slash scottish brand nothing special i know it has three parts latakia but you don't actually taste it yeah it's quite nice I mean, I won't, I will not wait 25 years for this to happen. It seems that nothing happened, but it's very nice. If you want to know how to taste this taste, try Rat Race number seven reserve. How do I know about this thing that I bought with 10 euros, $10? How do I know that it's over 25? Uh, that is 25 years old because I have here the this thing that says 5.5 4.50 Deutschmark. Deutschmark don't exist for a long time. Yeah, this is very, very mild. Yeah, you can mostly taste the Virginia and Cavendish. Pretty sweet, pretty nice. very smooth just a little bit of tongue bite anyways I will also add some pictures with my Stanwell pipe collection using this, this Stanwell. My first pipe being a Stanwell, I said, let, let me show you guys my Stanwell pipes. There are a few from 48 and a few new ones. Yeah, this is too, too mild. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Stanwell, my first pipe, shape 88 Army Mount, and Charles Fairmont. See you guys. I send you all my love.